Good evening, TFB mailbag buttholes. My name is James Reeves, and I will be your host for tonight in what is quickly becoming one of my favorite TFB TV segments, and that is the TFB TV mailbag. So a couple of housekeeping measures. Uh, first of all, we are you guys sending stuff in, uh, that are you small businesses that are sending stuff in I'm going to start putting your links in the description anyone any small business you send something in I'm just gonna start putting your a link to your page in the description for the video item number two I just got back from Glock I got an invitation from Glock I did the Glock operators course may have been the literal two best days of my life got to shoot a Glock 18 and we've got a Glock 18 mini documentary that uh, could be up on the channel by the time you guys see this or, or it might be up in the next couple of weeks, but it's going to be totally awesome. Uh, but in any event, they sent me, uh, we got some uh, Blade Tech holsters and uh, a little Glock GSSF prize bag. Those of you who aren't on Patreon, as you know, we do Patreon giveaways. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a way for you guys to fund us. We have... Uh, maybe a hundred thousand more subscribers right now. We're pushing 350, uh, 350,000. We probably had this time last year, maybe 250 or 275. Uh, but we're making maybe uh, a, a fifth of uh, what, what we were back then because of YouTube, their demonetization practices. So, oh, Krinkov, come here, come here. Mm. Sorry, Krinkov is interrupting me. But you guys, you may have seen him in videos before, but this is Krinkov the cat. He's handsome. He's got a little bit of a case of the dumb, but he is a handsome cat. All right, Krinkov, off you go. Anyways, we're not getting the same resources that we used to from YouTube, so we've been heavily pushing Patreon. That's where you guys can go and give as little as a dollar a month. But we don't want you guys to just give us money. We want to give you something in return, so we've got certain tier rewards if you go there. Once you hit X number of dollars, you get things back. And then we're, we're doing giveaways uh, once, twice a month, and it, the more people we get on Patreon, the more giveaways uh, we're going to be able to do. As is tradition. So I had uh, caught a bunch of shit for Miller Lite, episode one. Episode two, I got Raspberry AF, raspberry beer that was bright pink from St. Arnold. Uh, last week was local Abita blueberry wheat. And somebody posted something in the comments and they said that I had it all wrong going with raspberry and blueberry because obviously, for obvious reasons, banana is the manliest fruit. So I've got Wells banana bread beer and I am frankly horrified that this even exists but we're gonna try it out for you. Banana bread beer. Ooh, that smells very banana-y. Like fake banana, like Laffy Taffy. Mm. Well, it tastes just like the banana bread your mom used to make if your mom was the shittiest cook in the world. Mm, here we go, Whew, god damn. Oh, that is awful as it gets warmer. Uh, Charleston, West Virginia. Oh, shit. I got really excited for a second because I thought this is actual money. Uh, but instead, it's one of these uh, lens. What do they call? What do they call these? The, no, the fake ones where the religious people hand them out. Attract. This is actually attract uh, for it's a one billion. Or, I'm sorry. One million dollar tract to help you buy ammunition. Don't need that. Ventura Munitions, that was a plug. And a new wardrobe. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I love your videos. Keep up the great work, Cam. Also, Glocks are boring. <laughs> Team Makarov, PM. Eat shit, Team Makarov. I guess if you think perfection is boring, which I can see that, then yeah, Glocks are boring. All right, next. Don S. from Traverse City. Greetings, James Reeves, you're a real monkey spank. You also don't know diddly poop about guns. False. Uh, please go host a cooking show or something. God, you think I don't know anything about guns? 
uh, Totino's party pizza, 375 degrees, 30 minutes. Boom, that's all I know about cooking. Oh my gosh, Krinkov. Krinkov is upset at your letter, Don. Let's keep pushing through. All right, this one's really thin. This is from also Michigan Metropolis. I can't read that. Glock 17, Gen 1, bang. Actually a really good drawing. Doesn't say who it's from. You obviously know a little bit more about drawing than I know about cooking or guns, according to asshole Don. All right, we got one from a snowback in Canada, July 15, 2017. Hello, James. This looks like typewritten, like in a regular typewriter, like a serial killer would do. Hello, James and the rest of the TFB TV crew. I've created a meta search site for Canadian ammo prices. It's all open source so that anyone can improve it or host their own version of it. Wow, you're way smarter than I am. Living in Toronto has left me with few local people able and willing to provide feedback. I was wondering if you would be able to take a look at it. Any and all feedback would be greatly appreciated. It's uh, http slash slash ammobin.ca. Keep up the great work, Simon. And this was typed on a Hermes 3000. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. Um, all right, guys, go check out, uh, help this guy out if that's your bag, Ammo Ben CA. Hi, James, I think it'd be cool to have a TFB TV three gun match between all of you that do segments on your YouTube channel. You all seem pretty fast and skilled, so it'd be interesting to set up. Maybe something for Shot Show 18, Dave K. Dave, that'd be really hard to do at SHOT Show. We're so pressed for time, but I think that's a great idea. We'll put it on the back burner. We'll try to make it happen. We could definitely set up some sort of friendly match. All right, Ben from Columbus, Ohio. Ben says in a very professional, this looks like a resume. Uh, good day, James. I wanted to take a second to reach out to you and your team about all the good work that you do for the gun community. To be completely honest, the first episode that I watched was somewhat of a disappointment. That episode was Older shot 2015, shooting the Mauser M98 Magnum. I remember that, that was our first shot show and that was actually the day the channel was born, I think January 20, uh, 2015. Uh, that was me and Alex, uh, the first day on the job for TFB TV. Since then I found another video several months back, myth busting, shooting without an extractor, as well as cleaning tips and tricks. I think that may have been Patrick. Both of these videos sparked my interest and got me interested in subscribing to your channel. Since then, I've enjoyed all of your videos, especially the latest one with Mini for the Mini 14 and Baby Powder. The video is hilarious. Everyone in my house enjoyed watching it several times because it got funnier each view. My question for you is what is your all-time favorite range toy? Not one that's an expensive dream gun, just a gun you love to shoot the most. Thank you for taking your time to read this. I know that the channel and your other obligations keep you busy. By the way, if you have a favorite gun that you'd like a holster done for for free, send me the make model and a logo. I can do IWB, OWB, or pocket holster. All my work is leather, but I'm trying to branch out into Kydex. Have a wonderful day. You're awesome. Keep it up. That's Benjamin. Oh, nice. Uh, Luscious Leather Limited. Love the name. So Ben, I will not have you make me a holster. I don't like to abuse my station here at TFB TV to try to get free stuff. But uh, if you do want to send something in later, uh, don't send a Glock holster because I will certainly keep it. Uh, send another holster. Uh, I'll have you back on the show. You know, I'll, I'll show it and we'll do a, a giveaway. But what is my all time favorite range toy? I've got two bad answers for you. Uh, number one, the H&K MP7, because it's like shooting a bullet hose. That was the most incredible experience of my life. I, I got to shoot one at Battlefield Vegas. They were really nice, let us go in there, shoot whatever we want. It was like a machine gun buffet. It was the, the best day of my life. Uh, sorry, hon. Second best day of my life. So MP7 would be my all time favorite, but to be perfectly honest, guys, I, I do what I do, like with the concealed weapon stuff, and uh, you know everybody makes fun of me for being into Glocks. I, I just, I like shooting what I'm probably gonna carry or something similar to it. So uh, unobtainium on one side, the MP7, so that's a bad answer because nobody can shoot it. And on the other side, I mean, give me like a, a stock Smith & Wesson M&P 
or a Glock, uh, Glock 26 or Glock 19. And uh, that's a, a good day in the range. But excellent question. Thank you for writing in. And if you want to send in a holster, please do. Uh, I'll, I'll still post the luscious leather. Uh, if you have a website or something, I'll, I'll post it in the description. Thank you for the letter. All right, kill this banana beer before we open these packages. I'm pretty scared about one of them. It's exploding and it looks like a garbage bag. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Oh man. Um, they put a sticker over the guy's name here. It says do not bend. Artwork enclosed. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, uh, James, I've been, I, I can see the artwork, uh, so I'm laughing. Uh, James, I've been reading and now watching TFB for 10 years. After I stumbled upon it, after it launched, it's been great seeing it expand to what it is today. The addition of YouTube videos has been educating and entertaining. I especially enjoy your sense of humor and that you don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah, you can't, and especially in this industry where so many people do. Uh, keep up the good work. I like to draw when I'm able and I've included a pic that I drew to show my appreciation. Battleship Gray. Well, Battleship Gray, as far as I'm concerned, you need to change your name to Leonardo da f***ing Vinci <laughs> because this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, man. Uh, this is awesome. Battleship, I will see you on Discus or Discuss or whatever it is. I know who you are. All right, oh, we're gonna save trash bag for last. It, this thing, this package is open. It's heavy. And it says, Dear James, you must teach me the way of the surfer talking, Glock loving, metrosexual Esquire. Maybe I'll set up like a dojo, uh, metrosexual, gun loving surfer dojo and uh, you'll be the only person who ever shows up. After your tutelage, would I be able to seduce the hopefully available mother, sister, cousin of Lindsay? Well, unfortunately, Lindsay's only sister, who is not bad, uh, Ashley's getting married, and I, you say metrosexual esquire. I'm also a reverend metrosexual esquire. I'm not making this up. I've uh, actually performed a few weddings, and I will be performing Ashley and Derek's wedding in Florida. You're a brave man to be showing off your smoking hot wife on YouTube. Oh my God. Uh, she's within earshot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. She won't come on camera, but she'll give me a beer. Uh, how about that? Uh, you're also very brave when you included the 300 blackout in a TFB TV video six months entitled Top Five Calibers. And in my opinion, you've got to, these top five lists, shit like that, people love to watch them but we, you have to throw something in there that not only uh, is different, but you can still justify it. That's my philosophy, so I at least try to get one in there. But we try to get a conversation going and without like click baiting or trolling or anything. I mean, I, I meant that. I'm really impressed with the 300 Blackout as a cartridge. Are you brave enough to fire some random fans homemade subsonic hand load chambered in 300 Blackout? Don't be a pansy and send them to a Patreon supporter. Be a man and ride the danger stallion into the perilous abyss as you risk life and limb by firing a creepy devotee's handcrafted exploding projectile of death yourself. Never mind that this person probably manufactured these bullets while perusing your wedding photos. Uh, Borrowedinblue.com. Okay, I have to stop myself now. The letter is supposed to be funny, but now it's crossing the line in, into disturbing. Yes, absolutely. Sincerely, guy was gonna tell you his name, but now wishes to remain anonymous as he's now ashamed at how much research he did in order to craft a funny letter. P.S. My wife just read this letter. Now I'm in trouble for breaking the 10th commandment. The 10th commandment. Don't drink, don't drink on Sunday before noon, I think is that one. Since this is the first time, I think it's safe enough to do it. Look at how patriotic this shit is. Anyways, thank you very much for the letter and uh, I'll shoot your 300 blackout. Last package, last package. Michael T. And Akron. 
Oh, shit. Wow, this is fantastic. Oh, shit. I want it! No! I want it! No! See, how I know I'm doing God's work with this mailroom video is because I think every single video for the last package that I've opened, it's been the best one and a great one to end on. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for playing along. This has been really fun. Uh, got a couple overflow notices. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you, uh, I went and checked on Friday and uh, the, the, we've got a couple overflow notices and I will open those uh, next week. But thank you guys. And again, check us out on Patreon. We're giving most of this stuff away. If it's Miller Lite related, I am keeping it. Mike, you are the man. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week.